Executive tonight, too. Now to a News 5 special report. We've been seeing several burglaries lately where people have just left their cars wide open. Officials also tell us many have gotten into a bad habit of leaving their cars running in the parking lot or at home, something that invites thieves right in. Mm -hmm. News 5's Ashley Knight has more. It happens every six and a half minutes. It's just that simple. And it happens just that fast. A car is stolen. I know people have lead tech lives and, you know, everybody's running. And it's often because of one simple thing. Leaving the keys into the car or leaving the car running. And people do this all the time. They pull up to the gas station or store. And you tell yourself you're only going to be inside for a second. And so you leave your car running in the parking lot. Oh, way more than you would think they would, like constantly. Catherine Jordan used to work the overnight shift at a local gas station and saw it all the time. And they think that just because they park right in front of the door, that it's okay to just leave their vehicle running, keys in it, and just go. But I have other customers in line that see these vehicles running and have literally said, you know, if I wasn't me, I, that's a nice car. I would take off in it. And it's happening more nationwide. According to the National Insurance Crime Bureau, in 2012, 5.4% of all car thefts were because the keys were left inside. In 2013, that rose to 6%. In 2014, it rose again to 67 And actually, experts say the numbers are higher than that because not all car owners will admit that they left the keys in the car for fear their insurance claims will be denied. That same organization organization says that between 2013 and 2015, the state of Alabama only saw 186 car thefts when the keys were left inside. During that same time frame, they say Mobile only saw nine. I spoke with local officials and they tell me the real numbers are much higher. Well, it, it happens actually on a weekly basis. And once your car has been stolen, you are now a potential victim of something much worse. It goes just beyond the actual theft of your vehicle. Because of what you might have left inside. Important documentation like uh, bills, uh, wallets that contain driver's license, social security cards, credit cards, checkbooks, things like that. Sergeant Keith Miller specializes in financial crimes at Mobile County Sheriff's Office and says once a thief has any of those things, your car and now your identity has been stolen. Vehicle thieves are actually targeting vehicles for burglaries just to get that information. The added headache comes with having to call all the organizations involved and suddenly your life has been put on hold. It can be a daunting task that lasts several days, weeks, or even months or longer. It's a headache that could have been prevented by turning the key and locking the door. It's not worth the, the risk. Turn your vehicle off, secure it. You're not saving yourself that much time. Furthermore, it's against the law in Alabama to leave your car running in a parking lot and unattended. Officials say you could be fined by police. In the studio, Ashley Knight, News 5.